And then this one's like, you spent more, but you're actually, your revenue is, so the trend thing's always really helpful. This one's up. So you've doubled your spend, tr excuse me, tr over doubled it. And your CAC went down slightly. That's usually the CAC will pop up and then come back down. Let's see how the hell that happened. I've been watching those, those solution eight guys, you know them? I know them very well. Okay. Yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm watching yeah. those. Yeah. Rand's the, the two of the smartest guys there are. Yeah, so the, I was watching one of the guys, and he was saying the the low T row as on the shopping, and I was like, oh, okay, let's let's test this out. So I'm looking at Wicked to see what's actually happening, and then I was I was seeing that we're getting a lot of we we're getting a lot of leads from it, and it was actually reporting higher um, on Wicked than it was in uh, Google in Google. So I'm like, okay, I'll just keep lowering it, keep lowering it and see what happens until until it doesn't make sense anymore. So that's genius. Yeah, because uh, I used to talk to those algorithm engineers back when I, you know, pre-COVID, we fly out there and blab, blab with them about different strategies. But yeah, the higher the target row is, the more stringent they are going to show the ad to, which does make sense, but algorithms aren't perfect, right? And right. so that's a, you know, if you want to share this with them, maybe he'll, Give you a little yeah, that guy's I, john's videos are own so only ones i watch on linkedin <laughs> and then uh, Kassim, uh we talk to you regularly about all kinds of stuff so yeah these guys are great I keep watching yeah I had, a, had a buddy suggest them to me as i was like so i've been watching them for the last three or four months straight and just applying whatever whatever makes sense but i'll have to go rewatch the videos to like now that i know more i understand more of the how deep they were going into it he just did that T row as one maybe two weeks yeah. ago, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you just yeah. got a, a new one too. Hey everyone, John Moran here, and today I'm about to share with you a quick update to my low T row as bidding strategy. Uh, there's actually been a issue that I've been able to isolate, identify, and correct, and it's something that I think you'd be interested in seeing because a lot of you've been reaching out to me on LinkedIn through direct messages, through comments uh, about how you've been, and actually been doing some posts mentioning me about how you're using a low T row 